Hi, my people. It's your boy, Tatu. And it's Scotty Rodman. And welcome to the Culture Crew YouTube page. And before we say anything else, please hit that subscribe button and hit Bing. that notification bell. Bing. This here is where you're going to find all the fire interviews. All of them. All the fire topics. All on Island. Some freestyles. In Suffolk. Whole bunch of topics all that affect towns. us, our community, okay? Us. And a whole bunch of other stuff. We talk about the celebrity topics, everything here. Right we here. Hit that subscribe button. Everything. Please. We're going to talk here. about everything. That's right. All right, my people. It's your boy, Tatu Live. Who's school the raw man. And we are the Culture Crew. The you culture feel me? Crew. And guys, it's been a while since we've seen y'all. It's been approximately seven months seven. since we've been back. And we missed everybody all the way from the viewers, subscribers, man. the followers, wow. the viewers, the likers, from the commenters. Here, from out everything. of country. All you guys. Out of country. Greece. Uh, we already know y'all in the building. Mm -hmm. We see. Hey, it. Africa, they watching. Ooh, ooh, uh, United uh, Kingdom, shout out to you. And since we've been going, you guys, guess what? We hit a milestone. We have hit 10K views on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Two of them things. Can't forget our 300 subscribers, 300 plus at this point, I believe. Subscribers also. So this season, make sure y'all get us to a million. Y'all yeah, get us to a million. Yes. We giving away PlayStation. Yeah, we got yeah, we got stuff locked up this uh -huh. year. It's crazy. You don't want to miss it. But That's look, this the, but this is the catch. See, in each video, we gonna deliver a an Easter egg or what we gonna be giving up. But you gotta catch it because you gotta view it. It's gonna That's be at different fact. times. So it's gonna be an Easter. So make egg. sure y'all pay attention to this season. It's Easter egg. And if you didn't know, we it's are in season three, people. And I know you were thinking, like, damn, we're missing one person. Mula is still around. He's just out of state right now working on music. You know, yeah, he's he doing his thing. All of that. So we holding it down he for this season. Thing. But, yeah, so what we getting into? On this episode, we getting into fatherhood stuff, you know. I just became a father. Yeah. Congrats to my boy. So we definitely about to get into that one. That's a fact. We also got who is that Trentino in the building? Mm-hmm. We're clapping for everything today. Mm -hmm. And we also want to talk to y'all about how we're changing the show. You feel me? We're yeah. reformatting the show a little Switching bit. Switching it up. Y'all yeah, gonna, gonna like get this. More awful like celebrity this. topics and more on topics that's you know facing us in our community. Long Island, baby. That's a fact. We also, we're going to keep on with the celebrity topics, but we're going to have that in the segment called yeah, The Culture Connect, so make sure y'all watch out for that one. We also got Dumbass of the Week coming back. Mm. There's a lot of dumbasses out there, too. That's a fact. Got a whole bunch of good artists lined How up. I was a dumbass season. earlier. Oh, oh, fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. What else? See, Scott be making me lose my train of thought, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all what's coming up for this season. God, tell them. I'm oh, just, my God. I'm good artists. Good sponsorship. Mm. The sponsors. What you been up to since we've been off before we get into the topic? Uh, being a dad. That's it. Shout out to me. And it's, it's crazy. Me too, man. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's a little easy, though. It's not as bad as everybody be gassing it. Facts. Everybody be like, yeah, I don't have no kids. I mean, it's... it's don't have no kids. It ain't easy. That easy. Yeah, it ain't easy. But it ain't easy really for my girl. It's it's more of that. You got to be there for your shorty. Facts. The girl? <laughs> Jesus. The breastfeeding? The, the everything. <laughs> like, the hormones, nah. the postpartum, the everything. And then it's you. You ain't did nothing. You ain't have to do nothing. No off defects on your body. No nothing. No mismatch hormones. So now what you going to do? Gotta sit What's the best thing you could do? Mismatch hormones. But it wasn't that bad. It's not that bad. Everybody be preaching it, don't have kids. But the real th the, the thing about that is the uh, the 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 falling in love thing. Hold on. Before we get into all of that, this is leading us into our first topic of the day, which is going to be fatherhood. Okay? Uh, yeah. All types of fathers. We're just going to get All into types the, of fathers. Fathers that's here. Fathers that's there. Fathers that wasn't there. Came fathers. and wasn't there. We're getting into that today. 
get into all of that. So get back into your and, point. Like I said, it, it's it's more of uh, the the falling in love thing with your child thing is real. Like until I had a kid, like you don't know whoever is like oh you know they don't have a kid. Oh yeah, no, I understand. You don't. That's you do fact. not until it's kind of like we're losing a parent. If anybody was a parent, and I, I didn't lose no parents, I but I'll be like, dang, God. I always have an idea of how I feel until this bitch happened. Yeah. That's like with this, the kid thing. Once he was here, I was like, this pictures of me crying. Like, as soon as he popped out, bloop. I was like, oh, <laughs> no, it's my, it's my dad, it's me. So I felt like I was reincarnated. I was like, oh, my God. There's pictures of me balling. They ain't never going to see them pictures, but they did. At least we know they did. Yeah, you, you did. See, I've been a father for three years now. It's a dope. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, I'm it's in the game. It's a dope experience, though, especially when you're there. See, me and Scott are fathers that's there 365, okay? We can't get rid of these suckers. Right. If we try. But do you feel, um, and this is just not to me, this is just a question that, you know, I feel is like, you know, a good question to ask our audience. Uh, do you feel like when you first had your kid, did you like love them instantly, or did it take time for you to love them? It took some time, and I'm, I'm gonna be real. I ain't gonna be like, oh, I love them. So yeah. let's see. Uh, it took some time because I'm like, because I don't know him. Yeah, I know right. it's, it's it came from yeah, but I'm like, who this new kid in the world? All right, I'm like, hey, of course I loved them, but like the feeling, like it took me. I think it was like my it, like ready me. It took me, like, I think it was, like, three days. And I was in the shower. I'm just showering. At nighttime, he's downstairs. He's newborn still three days, three or four days. And I just started crying in the shower. I'm like, dang, yo, I really <laughs> did it. I'm like, yo, I got a boy. Like, I did. The legacy continues. That's a fact. Like, it keeps going. Like, I'm like, dang, yo. And then I told my girl about it. Like, I was in the fucking shower crying. I'm like, dang. She's like, I haven't, for some reason, I haven't got that, like, boom yet. It hasn't hit me. Then it hit her, like, I can think, like, a month down the road. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, you know, like, like we still to this day be like, dang, yo, that, like, we look at him as he, like, doing something, and he walking down, he's nine months. And we be like, dang, yo, that's really, like, you put that together, I put that together. Shout out to Scott's son. Mm. His birthday is the same day as mine, yeah, by the October way. October 30th. Scorpio, babies. All my family members, this right here is an invitation, because I probably ain't going to be able to get the invitations out quick, so this right here is an invitation to y'all to come to the party. Don't worry, I'm going to let y'all know the location. It's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Bring a Halloween right, costume yeah. for the kids. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Don't come in there with no costume. Now, being that uh, being that you're a father now, growing up, did you have, was your I'm Come on, everybody. I'm know asking. My, everybody as, know my see, pop. But I got to ask the question as you know if I'm a viewer, you know what yeah, I mean? But yeah, but I know my pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. Everybody didn't know my pops. If you know me, you know my pops. So do you so, think that finding that uh, your dad was there for you helped you be a good, is helping you, like, be a good dad? I, I mean, I guess so. I really can't say because it's, it's kind of hard to say that because to, to, to wonder if, oh, is he helping me be a better dad? Because I don't know what it's like to not have a dad. So I really, That's I don't true. know. So I'm That's like, true. I'm just going off my morals and what I live by. Yeah. I, like obviously right from wrong, I'm going on. I have a passionate of I'm passionate of a life of discipline, so that's what I'm going off by. And my dad wasn't as disciplinary as I would I will be. Yeah. He's not as strict. He was very flexible. Very, uh, he's just very pivotable with me. Like, oh, you want to do? All right, go do this. this, this, this. You know, and there's times I could have fell into the into the net of doing something bad. Yeah. I could have fell into that net. But I was like, you know what? Nah, wait. That's wrong. Nah, I, nah, I ain't going out. Trying to, nah, fuck that. And everybody Scott know. dad's a pastor, by the way, guys. Yeah. And I everybody know. I grew up with him, too. And everybody, yeah. And everybody, I'm like, nah, because my dad, he always used to be working. Yeah. Or doing what he needed to do. And I was, you know, I everybody know, I'd be, we'd be all playing outside. And I'd be mostly outside. And I'd be like, no, I ain't doing that. No, 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 no. So my dad really wasn't like, oh, you better not do that. You better not do this in the in the road. You better not do this in the street. Da da. He let me go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and explore. That's what you got to do. So I me doing that, it really it's a learning effect on you and everybody around you. Can I tell a quick story real quick that has to do with your dad? Kind of sort of, but it does fifty percent probably. Go. All right. So when uh, I was younger, story time, you guys. 
And don't kill me for telling the story, Scott and yeah. Vanessa. But when I was younger, I used to be real close friends with Scott, uh, stepbrother. Yeah. Uh, so when we was younger, we, uh, what did he want to do? He wanted to go pick up one of our peoples in the car, but he didn't know how to back up. So what he did Who, my dad? Me. No, Jalen. Oh. But he wanted me to back up the car because he didn't know how to back mm-hmm. up. So I uh, got in the car, all of that, backed the car up, went to go pick up Rashid, came back. And we just started smelling the brakes. And I'm like, why the hell do we smell the brakes? <laughs> First of all, we wasn't supposed to take the car. And I'm, oh I'm about to goodness. blow somebody up. But his godfather told us we could. And he's not going to say that he knew that we took it. Oh, Facts. my godfather? No, Jalen godfather. I forgot his name. This was years ago. Bold? You guys and I smoke now. Bald guy? Was he bald? Yeah. Have you said? He used to be, like, dressed. Yeah, that's time. my godfather. I okay. Know. One of y'all godfather. But, uh, yeah, we took the car, brought it back, and all uh, of that. Car was, the brakes are smelling crazy. And we like, damn, what are we going to do? Jalen's like, I'm just going to tell her I drove. I'm like, all right, fuck it. You're going to tell her you drove. So we thought by the time they came back that the smell was going to be gone. So we walked to my crib. No lie, 15 minutes later, your dad and his mom <laughs> pulled up to my crib. And he was like, Mom, I was driving. I was driving. She was like, I know you wasn't driving, Jalen. You don't know how to back the car up. <laughs> Yo, to this day, that is one of the most weakest moments of my life. I'm sorry, Vanessa. I'm sorry, Scott. But that was one of the weakest moments because she know he ain't backed that damn car up. He ain't how to do it. And to conclude the whole story, my foot was on the gas and on the brake at the same time because I wasn't that experienced in driving people. So you used two you feet. You feel me? So I was using both my feet at the same <laughs> damn time. I probably messed that lady's car if up. If y'all out there using, if y'all out there using two feet when y'all drive. Yes. <laughs> Moral of the story is do not take nobody's vehicle that's not yours, no matter exactly. how much your friends entice you to do it and all of that good stuff. Bye. But let's get back to fatherhood stuff. Now, yeah. it's good that you say that, you know, you don't know what, you know, not having a dad is like because your dad was always there. Mm-hmm. My dad, Jeff, don't kill me. This is the venting episode, you guys. My dad, I'm not going to say wasn't there, but he was there, but he wasn't there. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I didn't see, like, it was, when I was younger, more so now, we have a better relationship, I feel like, because we've grown now. So it was like, I can understand you, you can mm-hmm. understand me, and I can own, you know. Purple and that's circle. what a lot of people got to understand about their fathers that have, like, my dad had me when he was 17. Yeah. Right? More than 16. I think my dad so. had me at 16. But you got to, yeah, a lot of people got to realize probably. that your dad, you were, as you're growing up, your dad's growing up too. Yeah. You got to understand that. Fact, which is so why now I think, yeah. like, now I think in my head, okay, I ain't going to label you deadbeat, but. Mm, like you know what I mean? Better. He was he could have done better, but it was like had I be thinking, which sometimes I be wanting to ask him, like had you had better, you know, ask him, did you have better? Because exactly, how are you going to be taught where, better if you didn't have better? You know what I'm saying? So, but I think I had like a great mom, phenomenal single mother type mom, mm-hmm. and I think you know she. When my dad did come around, don't get me wrong, he did. Th- I'm not trying to throw him under the bus because he did stuff for us. You know what I mean? When he came around. But there was a lot of times where he said, well, he'll he, come around and, you know, he when you slipped. watch the movie of the kid just sitting there yeah, at the in. window, like, that shit is really real. Like, yeah. Yeah. That don't See, be my, scenes in movies. That be real have, shit. I didn't have that on either one side. Like, my mom was great. My mom was phenomenal. Yeah. My mom? What? <laughs> my mom, what? to this day, she'll, she'll take somebody and Put make, my make mom some on meal. a pedestal and I'm just like, you if know, I can't find an apartment, then nah. Don't want to. But, yeah, so I'm not going to say he wasn't that good of a dad because I'm, he wasn't not not mm-hmm. a good dad. You know what I mean? Because when he was around, he was good. I just think, you know, he could have been a better dad. I feel like to my younger brothers and siblings, he's much more like he's around every day. Yeah, he's he's with them. Like, so engaged. I feel like he probably learned from his mistakes from us of and course. shit. Of course. Are you the oldest? No, I got a sister. <laughs> I got a sister that's seven days older than me. Oh, I mean, so you, I mean, you the oldest. No. I mean, well, she the oldest, but like. By seven days, people. But so that's another thing. My dad was. If you the firstborn, man. if you the, the firstborns out there, don't hold, y'all got to hold the leash grudges. Because the parents is learning. Which y'all, the parents is yeah, learning. Yeah, man, that's why I feel like, um, like me and my mom, this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I feel like we grew up together. Like, we like friends. Like, I really watched my mom. 
not saying she came from nothing, but I really watched her, you know, develop and develop, grow. You know, to woman. now just opened up her own uh, agency, nursing agency, and all of that. You feel me? Like, yeah. You can celebrate this is the first day. Celebrate you can celebrate my mom today. But yeah, my mom was phenomenal. My dad was, he was all right. You feel me? He just, I just, it was bad. But, it but I don't think it affected me now because I've been in my kids' of life course. since they've been born. You know what I mean? So more so, it makes me question, like, damn, why you don't think you, yeah, and it even makes if, you-, you know, it was, to me, I classify, all right, who went to the hospital with me? My mom. You feel me? Who paid for shit for me? My mom. I mean, my dad brought me stuff, but full time, you know, who brought mm-hmm. me my school stuff, you know, all that, my mom. So it was like, you feel me? Yes. Cause See, I, I got more of a balance. Like, my yeah. mom did and my dad did, but my my dad, I don't know who bought more because I don't, but I think my dad did, and but my mom nurtured way more. Yeah. You know, so it's a balance there where my dad materialistically, Facts. yeah. My mom, she did also did buy me things, but more was more nurturing. She, I remember waking up with her. She was there, and then going to sleep, yeah. she was there. My dad was, was bad my work. mom, too, facts. My mom was, so, I'm telling you, phenomenal. My dad. Making it happen. Now we're cool. Me and my dad, we're more than cool. Like, we understand each other. Like, I understand. Like, mm. I have questions, but I understand. You feel me? Ask him. Maybe he'll watch this podcast one day. Nah. <laughs> we ain't throwing you under the bus. I love my dad. But the question is to you guys, the viewers, is do you think... You know, a person that has a dad and doesn't have a dad, does that affect you as a dad? Or yeah. being a dad? You get the question, you yeah. guys. Answer below and because we want you guys to start commenting and engaging. engage our feedback. And, I, yes, and, we, we and y'all engagement. need to know, I'm going to say it again. When your parents were growing up and had you, they were learning too. Everybody doesn't yeah, understand. Facts. I see too many people on there online in their feelings about everything. About yeah. even well, you, it's, it's such a the pendulum can swing crazy about how much people are in their feelings about things like somebody owed them some. I don't facts. think my parents owe me anything. Even, I know that certain, certain things. That's a fact. Even though I know that certain things, like yo, you, you could have did way better effort on this. Yeah. For to help me develop. You but know I what I'm saying? I feel like for the effort but that it, certain a, people lack, you know, people like my mom exact, felt that all up. But. And they just need, y'all just need to understand and stop holding the grudge, especially the firstborns yeah. coming from one firstborn to another. I can't say yeah don't, because when it comes to grudges, I'm horrible. Yeah, you, them. yeah. If you're a tie, then I don't know. <laughs> you're one of those who's in them. God but damn. be more flexible, be more therapeutic for your own self. Now, what's some advice that you would give somebody, say, since we're talking about all types of fatherhood, somebody that you, you know, they classify as deadbeat dads? What do you classify as a deadbeat dad? As a deadbeat dad? I, it, and it's very straightforward. A deadbeat dad is just somebody that's ch- that don't put no effort into into developing their, chi- their child. Don't have no like you put effort in man. developing the child in, in any which way, shape, or form. If you just like, I'd rather go and do this b- before I go and be with my child and help my child do something. Like if you, like like I said, the pendulum. I could say that's a deadbeat dad, and I could also say that deadbeat dad is not telling, teaching your son finances and teaching your son growing up and what's, what's going to happen in the real world. That's you know what true. I'm saying? But I would put that under the category if you don't know. If, if your dad doesn't understand that, I wouldn't call him a deadbeat dad because he can't teach you it. He doesn't know. You know what I'm saying? He can't inform you. So I'm not going to use that as a a man. Could a deadbeat dad be someone who's spending time but not spending financial or spending financial and not spending time? I don't think, no, no. Because a deadbeat, like if a dad is spending time, he just don't have no money, he ain't got no money. It's, It's tough. It's tough out here. And some people don't have everybody different. Some people didn't got the ambition. Some people don't got everybody got different motives, just like cars. I got different motives. Some yeah. motives can't count before others. If you if the father but if the father got you in that car and it's raining and he got and you you can't go nowhere and he's there for you, you know, hypothetically speaking. If he's there for you, you know, take something as small as going to the park. Exactly. Every single day. You know, it don't matter if y'all go consistently every single day to the same park. He's there. That's nurture. That's Tell nurturing. You. So now when you ask that kid get older, he going to remember, yeah, daddy, we used to go to this park. And then 
just like I do. I would go to places like, damn, y'all used to be over here with my bobs all the yeah, time. Facts, and facts. then that becomes, a, it becomes monumental for you. Mm -hmm. That becomes a, so a place. Saying, you know, you pull up to the that place like. time and not financial is mm -hmm. a deadbeat. I don't agree with that. Now, what do, you, what do you think about people that spend financial and don't spend time? Um, honestly, and, and see, that's fle and it's flexible too because. If the kid is, if the, if that's what the kid wants, if that's their love language, if they're like, oh, but, it, it, and you know, it's it's kind of uh, uh, taking advantage of their innocence because they don't know. As you're young, you're like, oh, give me this, give me that, give me that. That's how you, you know, you get spoiled. That's all they know is give me, give me, give me. So now when they go and do a relationship. Not even that. The father's not there at all. He's just, you know. Just spending money? Just doing his child supportly duties. Oh, so he's not there. Yeah. So he doesn't. Do, so the kid don't even know that he's so spending the money on him. So do you consider that a deadbeat? Somebody that's financially doing their part. No, nah, I don't not. compete that as, dead, as a deadbeat because, at the end of the day, if that his money's getting out of his check, it's supposed to go to his kids. Supposed to be doing the right thing. I hope the mother's holding up her into the bargain on that. I don't think that's a deadbeat, but because he's doing something, it's something. Because it's very hard for me to say somebody's a deadbeat. It's very hard. Yeah. You know, because I had a father that's not a deadbeat, what's way, no way, shape, or form, and I would understand if he was a dead. I was like, dang, yo, if he didn't do this, he didn't. Because my dad didn't do a lot of certain, a lot of things for me, but I can say he still also did too. He did. But you know, if it would just be unfortunate because it's like, dang, you could do more. Like, okay, financial, you could it ain't it ain't nothing to just go over there and see the kid then, yeah. or go take the kid out once. I always look at that as. Literally. Why aren't they going to see them? You feel me? Are there reasons? Like, is oh you know, yeah, definitely. The, are the parent making it hard for them to see them, or you feel me? All different kinds yeah. of situations that I'd be thinking. But it also, it's also a lot where initiative, like initiative, goes a long way. It goes far. Like I can't imagine somebody saying, "Ah, oh, the, the baby mom won't let me see the kid." I would, me personally. If I was in that situation, I would literally just drive over and see if, yeah, yeah let me just, you know, everybody, well, don't, everybody wants to cool my eye. Because it's not going to disclose anybody's name. I do yeah. know somebody who had a situation where they were yeah, supposed to see their kid, but then they wasn't, the other parent wasn't letting them see their kid, so they went to court, go, and now yeah. they're seeing their kid. Yeah, so it's like, sometimes you do, you gotta take. and then a lot of people don't, like, he fought for his kid, you feel me? Which I always give him a, you feel me, shout out to. Other people don't want to do that. A lot of people don't want to go through the court system and yeah. go through all of that. And mm -hmm. you feel me? They'd rather just, but you know you what, here, to, just take this in. If you hold up the end of the bargain by going and driving, yo, I want to. I just got to see my house. I want to take him, take him to the store or something. Take him, go get him something. No, no, no. Now you giving me, I got my back against the wall. Now you giving me no choice. Yo, I got to go to the, we got to take this to the courts then. That's some, me. That's just how I live. Yeah, but some people not like that. I would. You got to have, but that's why I just said Some people not like that, but you yeah. got to live a life of discipline somewhere. That's a fact. What do you, the viewers, think, okay? Do you guys think a dad that spends money but don't spend time is a deadbeat? Do you guys think a dad that spends financial but don't, been, did I say it right? Do you guys think a dad that doesn't spend time but spends money is a deadbeat? Comment below. Do you guys think a dad that spends time but doesn't spend money is a deadbeat? Comment below. Because we want that feedback. Or what's it, whatever is in between. You feel Give me? me your thoughts on what a deadbeat is. Yeah, we just want your thoughts. Because there's some people out there with a the father, and some people without their father. Facts. And y'all know the y'all, I always have my father. Y'all will know more than me that don't have a father. Yeah. Let me hear. I want to hear it. Because I'm interested in that. Now, do you think good fathers get praised enough as they should? Nah, but that's the world we live in. It doesn't. They don't. I don't think good. It depends on what fathers it is. Honestly, it depends. It depends. It depends on. Because like I said, back to what I was saying, you know, I got a friend that, you know, spends time, like spending time with their kid, you know, like you going get places. No. And it was like, you know, shut but, door. I mean, because the thing is, I look at it like if you my, say like if, like I look at it like, that's what you're supposed to do. You you ain't like you you go to the you go to work and you get paid for going to work. Yeah. You go to work, you show up, and get paid. Okay. You know you don't go to work, get paid, and then go in the register like yo. I need to get a little bit. I work hard today. Yeah. I stacked them bread up. <laughs> Neat. I got to go in this uh, cashier machine and 
take about thirty, forty dollars. Okay. You don't do that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just the world we live in. But you don't think that we praise moms more than we praise dads? And I'm I'm, I'm talking oh, no, about dads that's moms. still in like dads that's you know still in the pictures doing the same amount of work as the mom doing. Nah, mother, but mothers still do mother, get yeah. mother pray, more mother, than fathers. Yeah, mothers praise other mothers more than fathers praise other fathers. Yeah, that's true. So we got to start changing that. Yeah, I mean, fathers mothers, just need more praise because there's a lot of people that don't want to be in their yeah. kids' life. So you got to start praising the ones that do want to be in their life. Yeah. That's how I see it. And nothing too crazy, you know. Just yeah, I'm not I saying go wanna... tomorrow and get them a Ferrari. You feel me? But. Yo, you can get a nigga a Ferrari. Well, I think you goes a long way sometimes. Yeah. Facts. Or, or you could just stay on the, you could just sit in, on, on the, you could play the game. That goes a long way. Thanks. That's <laughs> all I need. Let me play the game real quick. Facts. Something, man. But. What yeah. else we got on there? Now, what else should we, are we done with fatherhood? I mean. We could. I'll elaborate on me a little bit and my kids. When I became a first dad, I became a dad at 25, and I thought I was doing something. I thought I was, you know, oh, I'm ready. Too. Like, mm-hmm, I'm working, all of that. And God blessed me with twins, you guys, okay? One boy and one girl, not just one of one. The total package. One of each thing, okay? So he hit me with a Mike Tyson double punch. So at first it was like, what the fuck is going on? You mm-hmm. feel me? Because I'm somebody who's out taking trips and, you know, doing all of that good stuff. So when the you have party. kids. Yeah. Which I just had a good run this year. Shout out to everybody that came out to the freak neek and to the food party. But anyways, yeah. So I was used to that. Partying, trips, festivals, all of that good stuff. So when you have kids, all of that shit parks like a car, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I just took my first trip last year. Like, and my kids is three. I'm somebody that usually takes like two trips a year. So, yeah. Yeah, it's parking for us. Matter of fact. Our shit in the pound. Facts. That's how, that's how I asked that question. Because for me, it t- it didn't take me a long time to love my kids. Because, like you said, like a month, you like you know you got to get used to it or whatever. Yeah, whatever. I, was, I think it took me a minute to appreciate being a dad. Like, okay, yeah. I like this. Like, all right, we're gonna be yeah, all right. Cool, it's, it's not bad. Good. Yeah, you feel you me? Because at first, it's like that, your head is like overwhelmed. Yeah, with you shit. got that gray area. Like, like, and it's true. Because I remember when. I was about to be a dad, and I was always asking good dads that I know, like, when yeah. I was at the gym or, like, when I do go out to gym workouts, like, when I uh, shout out to Kel- Kelly, Jesus Never Stops. I was talking to him, and they were like, yo, they were like, yo, you a good person? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, yo, you seem like a good person. That's all you need. That's all you yeah. need. You're good. You're going to be fine then. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Am I a good person? Yeah, I'm a good person, but don't mean I'm going to be a good dad right. till he come, and then you like, all it really is is, I just got to teach you how to be the best person you could be, how to be a good person. Mm -hmm. That's what they're talking about. Like, you think too much into it. Like, good person, what are you talking about? Uh, Like, what do you mean? How are you now? But everybody ain't perfect, you feel me? Yeah. Everybody is not And you just go in favor of how your kid personality and how he operates or she operates. And you think having twins, you know, your kid's going to be the same. Nope. My kids are two totally different All right, let me ask you a question. Which one is more attached to you? My daughter. Yeah, so it's true. Because yeah, my yeah. boy ain't even attached to me. Yeah, even my then son she can care. Me, but... Like, when he's going through distress, that's when he cares about his dad. Who's or most... when I got a meal or something. Who's the most affectionate out of, the, out of you two? Like, loving the kid? Like, mm. or oh, both you got to do the same. Their mom. Yeah? Because yeah. I'm like that. I'm, I keep kissing my boy. Man. Like, that's their mom. I love you, love you, love I'm you. I'm more of the thor- authoritarian figure, you know? Mm. Because, you know, we, he was out here in these streets. Mm-hmm. Doing God knows what. All right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, 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 look. So look. So this is why I had a question. I always thinking that this right here is what my mind is at. Where I'm like, mm, I can't really wrap my because usually I'm good with stuff like this, but I can't really wrap my finger around how I'm doing it, how I do it. When your kid gets a certain age, say he gets around, because I remember at six six years old, that's where I was going to my friends with, like I was like, my mom, hey mom, I'm going to Mercer Melissa house, the twins. Boom. All right. You said at six. Hmm. <laughs> I, I wish I knew six, what I was like. My I mom six, is like, one of them people that's just like, 
She wouldn't let us go nowhere, okay? Yeah, see, now, how do you feel about, like, what? which way are you going to, which way are you leaning towards? Because I'm leaning towards, I'm leaning towards the let my son go and then being a card in the distance watching, like, okay. See, I feel like I'm that's leaning not good, though. towards more of my mom, I'm, my mom, I'm telling you, my mom was like an authoritarian figure just like me. So I want to be more like that. Like, she would give me freedom. You can go to a party, but you got to come back at this time. You can do this, but you got to, you know what I mean? I want to yeah. be like that. Give you some freedom, but, you know, because I wasn't. if it starts going left, how do you adjust to it? How do I adjust? Because that's how my parents, both my parents was like, go do what See, you want. See, I wasn't a crazy kid. That's the thing. I wasn't yeah, a crazy. exactly. But, but that's my, why. Like, my parents I'm were like, I'm not going to throw my sister good. under the bus. I love my sister, but my sister gave my mom a headache. You feel me? So. Mm. And my mom didn't really know what to do. Like, it would be nice where she would be crying. Like, she really didn't know what to do. Oh. So, me, I feel like, okay, have a plan and yeah, yeah, yeah. know you what really to know. do. Isn't, isn't it fun? Mm -mm. It's, I feel good about that. That, like, yeah, me facts. and my girl, and it's my boy, and we, but like, then a team, again, I feel like, like I always <laughs> ask the question in my head, does that lead to us not having a dad? But then I'm like, my mom raised me by herself. Not by herself, because my dad was in the picture a little bit, but my mom raised me solely by herself. Mm -hmm. I graduated, all of that good stuff, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. What things do you think that you missed out with your dad? Like, whether it's sports-wise or just doing... I think I would have like, been into sports. Having a beer together. I think I would have been into sports. I think you'd have been like, yo... Yeah, had I had somebody that was like, yeah. You feel me? I feel like I always say one big reason why I never played basketball is because I knew, like, my mom worked OD, like, OD to make sure we had whatever we wanted. Uh -huh. Who the fuck was going to come to my games? Who was going to support me? There was going to be nobody yeah. to come do that, uh, all of that good stuff, you know? I love my uncles. When they were there, they were there. But when they wasn't there, they was in jail. So it was like, yeah. you know what I mean? So that was one of the big reasons why I never really got into sports. Like, I would play sports with my family and shit, but other than that, like, I don't really, that's why when my other cousin, you know, Ronald, will play sports, yeah. I'll be at every game, away game, yeah, 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 yeah. all of that. You definitely was at all of Yeah, those because that support I was, the shit. Crowd, I was like, look, I was like, damn, this ain't got yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. That support shit is different. You need that. Yeah. You need that to. Shoo, yeah, to, that support joint is good. It's so good. that sports is a main thing. I feel like, um. Certain things I'm what else you like, think would have? If you had pops was there, do you missed out on this because pops? Hold on, was hold there. on. I'm trying to think. Cause I can name some traumatic shit. Yeah. All right. So I. Cause I this is gonna help the viewers. Yeah, facts, like, facts, Yo, facts. I can relate to it. all in my life, but it's all right because it's it doesn't. Right. Yeah, it doesn't. Me. It's just, it's just, it's so just, one uh, time I remember being around probably 13, 12 to thirteen, and I remember it was me, and my dad, my cousin Trustin his girlfriend at the time and her son and we was watching I forgot what the hell we was watching probably New Jack City or something we was watching something where the little kid was like a drug dealer so in this scene of the movie he went to go get the drugs and all of that crazy shit from I think I forgot where he got it from and uh, he brought it to like the drug dealer and I remember my dad just looked at me and said why can't you be like that no way I swear I love you, Dad. I swear I love you, but this is just one of those stories that always like. Yeah, it's just. It's like, why would you? As want I'm to be grown like that? now, I think of like, what the I fuck do you mean? I like don't that. mean to curse, but like, what do you mean? Like, you want me to sell drugs? Yeah, no. Want me? Nah. That's just one story. I hope he. Yeah, I hope he don't kill me for telling this shit, man. Because we got a good relationship now, but it's just like you know. It's no, I'm sorry. Real shit. So he'll be. So I feel like. Uh, Maybe get some closure. I feel like my dad probably thought I was like his friend. Like, That's even though I say me and my me and my mom grew up with each other, you feel yeah. me? My dad thought I was probably like a thirty year old friend. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yo, I, yo what's up, like bro? them hood. Excuse my French, but them hood, you know, yeah, Negro hood. mentality people when they feel like they son gonna be, you know, yada yeah, yada, yeah, yada, yeah. yada yada yada. But my mom was not having none of that. Yeah, nah. See, so, my yeah. dad wasn't having none of that, and my mom was having like they was. But if I turned out that way, they'd be like, "Look, yeah, like you know, like are we get like." I'm glad my parents weren't was had a a, le a loose a leash on me. Like yeah. I'm glad they let me because I figured a lot of things out That's by a fact. myself. And everybody knows when you when you doing them doing that doing whatever you doing, you know this is wrong, but I want to do. You got that impulse. 
I gotta do it. Facts. But I was like, nah. Like everybody has that. Damn, I should I do that? You make the decision now. Yeah. And then that's how you gonna turn out. That's how your mind starts to turn out. That's, mm-hmm. That becomes the new normal as you start right. going through shit. That's your new normal now. So now shit that's that's not right. This shit right here not right to me. Yeah. You're not right. It's a little bit lower. Like, nah, it's not right. But I'm like, nah, nigga, it ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> so that right there is your new normal. Like, yo, it's not right. But you could probably you know do it like this. I'm like, nah, nah, cut it, cut it loose. Do it. Don't even. Facts. Don't even mess with it. Now, do you find yourself, because I find myself, and I, I try to say, damn, Todd, like, is this a good thing that you do or is this a bad thing that you do? I judge a lot of people that I'm around, i.e. friends, relationships, like how, like, I like, based it off how I was raised, and I kind of really don't understand them, mm-hmm. because I think, you know, I be- like, I mean, how I the do- hell was, like you, judge you know what people? I'm saying? I'm not going to say I judge people, but I go off a lot of shit based off how I was raised. Yeah. So I had a family that, you know, was one of those, you know, we're going to show you what not to do. Like, they would, we knew, don't do what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I had that type of, of family. Of course. So it was like, I learned a lot of shit early. Mm-hmm, like as everybody. A kid. So now. Majority of families in bed. As I'm around my friends and shit, you know what I mean? Ex friends, whatever type, whatever the situation may be. I be thinking like, damn, how do you act? Like, how are you not grown? Like, how are you not? Yeah. Like, you know how you I mean? ain't developed yet? Are growing. Like, yeah. You feel me? And I be basing it off of me. Like, okay. Yeah, like I went through that. You yeah, I went through like, that kid stage. Like you, I went through like, that young stage. It's kind of like, like a. You, you should have caught up by now. Yeah. For there instance, you go. Like, like okay, niggas is tw- say, and this is not to anybody that's getting that don't have it yet. Yeah. But. Say, I got my license when I was 17. I got my permit 16, 17. Mm-hmm. If you ain't get it to your, you ain't get your permit or whatever till like 19, 20, that's yeah. fine. That's, you know, but when you hit 25, 26, 27, and you don't got a license or something, it's like, I'd be like, Yo, what the fuck? You, been, you ain't been wanting to work on that? Yeah, facts. You got to catch up. You got to catch up because now, because now I got, I'm 26 or whatever, 27. My mindset is okay. Uh, uh, financial literacy. I'm not a uh, business. I gotta get a house. I wanna, you know, the American dream thing. I'm not even worried. I'm past the American dream now. Yeah. The American dream is some BS. They sell that to you, you know. So my mind is there. I know other people's mind. That's 24, 25. My age ain't there yet. They're still like, yo, I get my license together. I got, you know, I got yeah. this. I got. I'll be like. Bro. Well, we're real on this you show, so I do got to be real. I mean, I'm getting minds together now. I mean, I got a license, but, but it's getting situated. Yeah. But, I mean, but it, it depends. It but if also you have depends. nothing at all, yeah. I yeah, but if you just like, <laughs> fuck it. You, you got to, because you're licensed, you got to go to work. Yeah. How the hell are you, you going to So am I for wrong rides? for being that person that judged, like, off of no. shit that I've been through? No, I wouldn't because you you put out, you put you make an agenda for yourself. Yeah, That's why. you have an agenda. Now. I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm setting more boundaries. As in, you know. Yeah, you getting old. We're yeah. not doing that. We're not doing who the that. Fuck, say you got. Say you got to You finally get you a nice house. You know, your family. Da da da. Nice big, nice pool in the back. Boom. Yeah. And then you want some motherfuckers that come in to your yard, to your house. You know, you got the. You know, wide kitchen, you know, you got the, the granite table, yeah. you know, the island on it, you know, you having jungle juice, you know, you ever see the, uh, something, the bar, uh, the, the, what's his name? Tipsy, the, what, the bartender or something? You got a nice ass kitchen. You imagine you get all of that, and then you will want motherfuckers that also is on the same page as you, yeah. working together. It's like having a, it's like business Absolutely. partners. You want, you, you want your team to be on the same page. Yeah. I don't want a motherfucker running up there that, in my house, you know, going up through, Oh yeah, yeah. What's up, Scott? Did it? Yeah. You think you got five dollars, bro? I... If you gotta ask me for five dollars, <laughs> bitch, you better ask me for two hundred, cause I know that it means something. Like, yo, yeah. I gotta handle this shit. Five dollars? What the fuck you gonna do with five dollars? You can't get. Crazy. I don't want if you. I don't think that's wrong with you to judge motherfuckers on that, because it's like, yo, yeah. you should be on the same page. Cause if you judging a motherfucker, you have good intentions, and you see the potential in the, the next person to be like, yo, you could get, yo, get it together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want a motherfucker. Thought it was just when I go, when I get a nice house. Look, this is my thing. When I get a nice house and everything, and I fence my shit off and everything, you, know, you can't come up in here. 
I want the motherfucker to be like, yo, yeah, I'm about to get where well, I'm sitting, me and my boys sitting at the table while the kids are playing and everything. I want my boy, my boys be like, yeah, I'm about to put this this fence right here. Yeah, you seen that new fence that we got? Or some dad Just shit. Just everybody on the same, same page as elevating. You get what elevating, I'm saying? Man, that's it. You know what I'm same saying? Same page. Or a little, bit, a little bit behind. Isn't on the same page. Even if you're not on the same page, a little bit behind. I, yeah. You, or, or understand, like, yeah, yeah, that's why I got to I gotta get that shit, too. Yeah, facts. You know I'm what I'm one saying? of the people that will help you get to hey, where you got to exactly, go. Exactly. Any way I can. Because I'm not helping you do something and... You don't want to, you, you, I was like, damn, I, I wasted time. Yeah. Like, I, I, told, I ain't going to throw this name out there. I told him, yo, you get your license, i give you $500 to, to your car, to save up a car. Mm-hmm. I, just because, cause, and it's one of my family members. I said to him, like, yo, I'll give you 500 cash. To, so you, all you got to do is get your license. I'll give you 500 cash in my next check that'll come. Thanks. 500. That's my word. I'm like that too. You, I, told I took you him friends on yourself? whole trips before, like me paying for it, fully paid for. Mm. Yeah, I'm that see, type I, of friend. See, I can't do that. I ain't fucking paying. But for this was pre kids, you guys. This was pre kids, <laughs> and I had a lot of money. Good ass friend. Yeah, you really. should have been close when I was younger. I'm Shit. telling you. I'm telling you. I'm talking about everything, whether you like it or not. That's a fact. You need to relate. Get out that shell. Everybody always be up in their shells. Release. We're happy to be back out. here, people. Oh. Yeah, can't you tell? <sighs> and we're gonna be consistent. A lot of people ask us why aren't why don't we don't be consistent. This shit is hard. This shit costs money. We gotta get an editor. Shout out to our new editor, Brittany, by the way. We gotta get a new Oh, you ain't tell me. Oh yeah, facts. It's Damn. Brittany, bitch. Live on camera. We have Damn. a new editor. Shout out to Brittany. You gotta bring the A game. That's a fact. Jay was he was on the, he was he was on his top. He was doing it. Shape. But but yeah, we get X all the time. Why aren't we consistent with the show? The show costs a lot of money sometimes. You know, we won't be consistent for y'all. Yeah, we go like, through freaking deaths, all of that good stuff. All of that. But now season three, we're consistent. We're giving you these episodes. What y'all ask okay. for? And how shall I tell you, the me? dude, the dude that asked me in the mall. I see, yeah, he was, yo, when y'all coming out with this show? When y'all coming out? When y'all coming out with the next season? Da, da, da. We here. Oh, yeah. We here. Welcome to season three. You better watch. Like I said, it's going to be Easter eggs. It's going to be some Easter eggs in every single episode. That's a fact. On when and what the giveaway is going to be. But you got to tune in. Cause I'm a, I'm gonna just randomly just Every drop a little hint. We gonna be mid conversation. Da, 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 da. I'm just like yeah, such and such. Yeah, cause I'm I'll play my beat something. Da, da, da. And we just drop the Easter egg, boom. And then we just gonna continue. We gonna roll them up. Oh, okay. Then when I do the giveaway, yeah, I'm late on the giveaway cause I you ain't you ain't dropped the name in the comment section cause I told y'all y'all missed that part. You like yeah, I, I, I wanted that. that. We really want y'all feedback. Mm-hmm. You feel that, me? That. Please start giving us your opinion down below. Get a, go up in our DMs and let us know. Sign in my DMs. Let me know what I need to work on on the show. Let me know. Yo, Scott, do this. Let us know the topics you want to hear. All the topics. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting a new show. We have a new show coming. Yeah. We want the class for that. We have a new show coming this winter. We can't give you too much of the details yet. We're filming it soon. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. It's a good concept. Y'all going to like it. It's Facts. very. Let's see who is who going to do it. I'm interested in who going to do it. That's a fact. But I'm hey, if you're interested in do it. doing it, this the comment. spinoff. This the culture crew spinoff. We ain't never fact. done this. We got our off. first goddamn spinoff, ladies Spin. and gentlemen. All right, my yeah. people. We got my boy Trinio in the building. With fucking Trinio, With fucking vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Trinio, the stepper. Uh huh. All right, my boy. Let the people know where you from. I'm from Riverhead, New York, man. All right, Scott, you ask your questions Look first. Right here. All right, look. All right, look. All right, look, Trini. Trini, yo. <laughs> I like that, Trini. Look, Trini, look, so right, if it wasn't for music, where do you see Trini, yo, having a different career? What other path would Trini, yo, be doing? Um, it would still be in the music industry, like uh-huh. that music field, but it would be more like a uh, hype man. I really okay. started off hyping everybody up. I was the one in the crowd doing what I do. Uh-huh. 
And then I met motherfuckers, you feel me? The people that I'm with right now, big TFE shit. Facts. And they influenced me to rap. They influenced me to, to get on the track and start spitting and shit. So I went to the studio and they, they would have did it. Made magic, man. Crazy magic. So who is, who would you say Trinio, who's your icon? Who, like, what is Trinio, what make, what wake Trinio up like, yo, this the dude, when you first started, this the dude who motivated me right my now niggas, to do my shit. My niggas, it was TFE. All of People them. I was around, you feel me? Uh-huh. They influenced me to rap. Like, I, I used to rap, yeah, back in the day on some little kid shit, like, you know, playing around. Yeah, of yeah. course. But then um, I met Playboy, Play the Cooker, Ease. Yeah, I know Ease. I'm Shout out my boy Playboy. Yeah, yeah, in the building. Shout out, really, we out here. I met all them, and they was, you know them, they rappers, you feel me? They in the stool. Yeah. I, uh, at first, fact. it took me a while, like, you feel me? Maybe a couple months, I never was in the stool. I was there, but I'm always the nigga rolling up, yeah. chilling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 I'm I'm a um what do you call it? I'm a um chameleon. I mean, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm versatile. I'm versatile. I'm versatile. Like I'm versatile. Very, I, go, I go with the beat. So in my mood, however I'm feeling that day, I might. You feel me? I, I wrote love songs. I got love songs. I'm dropping for the ladies. Okay, so you, you feel pivotable. me? I got all that. Yeah, so I got all that. Right. You on your pivot? All, all, all avenues. Ten toes, man. All right. Who would you collab with? Who would I collab with? Yep. Like in the industry wise? Anyway. No matter who who would you like right now? Like yo, if you got a name right now, you could just drop down and they're gonna come right here to the stool right here and collab. Who would it be right now? Um I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll probably say Boogie. Hey Boogie. Boogie. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. I fuck I with hey, Boogie. Me too. Oh, keep it a stack. Keep Boogie? it a stack. Keep Boogie? it a stack. Boogie? My Boogie? man's yeah, my man's stun again being on. You feel me? Mm. Yeah, he just dropped some shit too. Oh yeah, he dropped the That's whole album. Fire. I fuck with him. What do you th- what what do you think the uh, the differences between you and other rappers from Long Island? What what make you stand out more? What do you feel? Would make I mean, you stand out? I don't compare myself to no rapper anywhere. You feel me? I'm myself, so therefore I really can't answer that question for you. Only because I I I don't compare myself to nobody. Like I don't. I'm not in competition like with answer. nobody. I'm at not. All. You feel Facts. me? I want the whole Long Island to come up together, type shit. You feel uh-huh. me? But you know, everybody don't. Everybody want to be the big dog. So yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. What's your favorite project right now and why? What, what right now. Out of all the projects you did, all of them. All of them. Your favorite. Mm, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Nah, I'm not even talking about like as in like stats wise. But geeked up, okay. Yeah, geeked nah, up, geeked I up, fuck with that. It. You feel me? I thought that song was gonna do a little bit better. Uh-huh. You feel me? But it really, you feel me? It did what it did. You feel me? So, yeah, I, I so if boom, ready? Trinio's dropping. He he going on tour right now, right? First location you going? Where's the biggest the biggest performance? Where you going right now? Where's his whole at the crib? Where you going to Miami? You going wherever yeah. you at? Where would it be at? Um, I say like Miami, LA, somewhere over there. Only because you feel me, you can you can express yourself more around a lot of more people that in the same field with you in. Like, uh-huh. So networking wise, like yeah, no, facts. I can go to Miami perform. It'd be twenty people in that show. 15 of those people is all A&R's, managers. I come out here to perform, is 35 people. Mm. They all from the block. You feel me? So it's not, you feel me? Okay. That's it. All right, my boy Scott got to get out of here right now. So he leaving me to finish everything. Unfortunately, out of here. Say bye to the viewers. All right, bye, viewers. (laughs) All right, my guy. (laughs) Now I'm out of here. What made you become an artist? Um, TFE, the Family Entertainment, Big facts. my group that I'm with right now, they inspired me to rap. Facts. Now, when you was in school, did you play any instruments or anything that had to do hell with music? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You feel me? I used to, like, play around with the rap, and then, 
You feel me? I ain't never take it serious. I, I was probably like 15, 16. I made a rap, you feel me? And then I just stopped. And then I just picked it back up probably like three years ago. And then it's just been lit. Now, what motivates you to make music? Like, what motivated me? Um, right now. Like, right general, now, what, right, what yeah. motivates my kids, my family, you feel me? That keeps me going. That keeps, I got something on the back of my shoulder. I got to yeah. keep going and going until I achieve what I want to achieve. Now, how did you develop your skills? Like, you feel me? Practicing. Because, like you said, you started early. Oh, yeah, practicing. Yeah. Like, I started early, but I really wasn't taking it serious. And then when I started playing playing around with the music, when I got into the studio with my niggas and shit, I was freestyling. Thanks. Freestyling. Yeah, that bitch wasn't you feel me? right. Was was niggas were like, right, right. right. Now nah, I'm freestyling. I'm going to go on that bitch and freestyle. <laughs> you feel me? And then I started writing. And then I realized, like, all right, I'm writing. I'm getting a little bit more in depth with the words and all yeah. that instead yeah. of just coming off top of the, top of the head. Yeah. What did, uh, hold on, let me see this one. All right, describe your creative process when you make new music. Um, First off, I smoke a blunt. I smoke hella <laughs> weed. I, I roll up a couple blunts. Well, it really depends. It depends. It depends. If I write a yeah. song in the studio, I'm already in motion. I already boom, boom, boom. I'm high. I'm, I'm feeling it or whatever. But if I'm at the crib and I'm just chilling, you feel me? It's probably like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm in my zone. My son sleep, <laughs> crab quiet, you feel me? I, Facts. I just, you feel me, roll up a couple blunts and then just make magic, just so focus and lock easy? in. Um, it's becoming easy. It's not easy, but it's becoming easy the more and more that I do it, yeah. you feel me? Like, it takes time. It's a process. You, it, yeah, Someone right. just can't pick it up overnight and be like, oh, I'm a rapper. Yeah, like, you got to practice. Oh, yeah. You definitely got to practice. Like, it's, it's becoming easy. It's not easy yet, but it's becoming. The more time you put in the stool, the better you're going to get. So you got to yeah. try to stay in the stool. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and also, you got to learn how to be versatile. Like, Facts. Yeah. be able to come with different genre of music. And it's also good to stay consistent. How you consistent is key. Yeah, facts. Here's a good question. What do you want your impact? Like, your music impact to be? My music impact? Yeah. Um, Honestly, I'm not a selfish or for self person. So if I, like, if my music get blown up and I become somebody, you feel me? The island coming with me. Yeah, the whole Long right. Island. Like, I'm going to put, you feel well, me? too I, many people coming yeah, with nah, you. Nah, I mean... It's not going to be like that type of yeah. time, but you know, I, yeah. I'm going to do a lot of opening yeah. mm -hmm. things out here for the yeah. island for people to come put right. that work in. It's not That's just going right. to be a handout, you feel me? So, because I brainstorm, I have perfect, I have a lot of great ideas on a lot of shit. Yeah. You feel me? I'm just waiting for that time to come and then Long That's Island going to be lit. That's a fact. I saw you post the uh, article when the guy said, Ain't don't nobody care about the Long Island rappers. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> But who is he though? Facts. Like, I didn't even know who that was. I honestly. still don't know who he is. Facts. For real. But you know, that was just motherfuckers want the publicity, but any any publicity is bad or good publicity is good. Yeah. So it's a fact. Do you have any local artists you like around here? Besides, you know. Yeah, I fuck with everybody. Know. I fuck with all the local artists. My whole facts. team, T F E, D M P. I fuck with Young Remy, I fuck Five. with Von Dollars, I fuck with Damu Up, her I hero. fuck with er her hero, of course, Five. I fuck with everybody, and then, you know I got people in the town that I fuck with from Riverhead, I got Drew Fendi, I, I got a whole lot of people that I fuck yeah. with, like, we're gonna get him up here this season, hell too. yeah, hell yeah, that's my guy. Best advice you would give yourself when you first started? Don't give up, you feel I like me? That. and I still didn't give up, Now anything. Foot on the gas. Yeah, that's a fact, I like that. Anything you would uh, that you learned performing, like from your first performance, that you took with you and improved on? Uh huh. Um. Yeah, I learned a lot. You feel me? Cause that first performance on stage is you feel me? Is excitement, but it's also nervous at the same time. So I ain't know how to react when I first did it. But after the first like three, four shows, I just got used to it. Yeah. I'm a I'm a quick learner, so. And that's just another task that an artist got to complete on that list. You got to be yeah. able to have performance. That's a fact. Now, did you have performing anxiety? And if you did, how'd you get over that? Nah, shit? I don't have performance anxiety. Nah. Only because 
like I said before, I was always, I'm a dancer, I, I'm hyped up, I'm, since a young kid, I was that 11 years old, old. I'm in the, I'm in the, <laughs> I'm in the grown up nigga, parties dancing with the, with the yeah. older females, you feel me? Like, yeah, I don't know who this is, this nigga energy is like, <laughs> 1,000. I thought oh, my man. energy be up there, this that nigga is, energy is, is crazy. 24-7, man. That's a fact. Good Literally, vibes, too. 24 no, good vibes. Always happy when I see you, my guy. Right. That ass. That ass. Should be lit, though. Now, is there any advice that any other artist that's, like, you know, coming up has given you? That any other artist that, like, gave me? Yeah, that's... Um, not locally. That's, you know... I, don't, I hate to say yeah, the word put on, like... That, on um, that's list. in the industry? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people told me to keep going. I had DMs from Fat Joe, uh, Sauce, uh, Sauce Walker, oh, no, Walker Sauce. Okay, um, talk about it. Cass. From me, I've been on live. You said what? Cass. Yeah, Cass. Yeah, I met Cassidy. I performed. I opened up for so, Cassidy. Talk about uh, that, too, because you did open yeah, up for a few people, yeah. right? How I opened up for a couple people. Let them know who, man. Um, well, me physically, it was my man's opened up, but I'm right there with him type shit. But it was uh, Fabulous, um, Young and May, um, Mano, um, Lil TJ, K Flock, Dougie B, Shy K. Working. Hell yeah. Working and Hell staying yeah. consistent. Hell yeah, consistent is key, man. Facts. Cass. Shout out to Cassidy, dead ass though. Facts. That's a fact. He showed nothing Gold but breath. love. Hell yeah, he showed nothing but love, yo. For real. Now, what do you think has been the hardest song to write so far out of all the songs you wrote? Mm, I'd have to say, talk facts. Because I actually really put time. That was probably, like, usually I write a song and, like, throughout, like, maybe if I don't write it, finish it that night, I finish it the next morning. So in the, in the average of, like, four or five hours, I finish a song or whatever. And um, Talk Facts, I took a little bit more time on that. I took a little bit more time on that. And you feel me? I wanted to express something. I wanted to really come out and let people know, like, I'm talking facts. Everything I said yeah. was facts. Everything, like. Real shit. Let them know about the streams, because the streams going up. Hell yeah, one. I got hell yeah. Probably like 40K streams right now on Spotify. What's up, man? And it's still going up as we speak. Like, Make sure y'all go listen to that. He going to perform that later. Hell yeah, so who that crazy. trini on all platforms. W H O D A T T T R E N T I O O. Who that trini on. Right. Now, uh, when you in the studio, do you freestyle or do you come with it right? Like, written already? It all depends on the mood. Like, I have a song written already. Me and my mans will chop it up. Boom, boom, boom. And then we might fuck around and look at a beat. And we write a whole nother song. I try to freestyle it. Or I, I would how I would get the concept of the song freestyling. Let me let me say that. I, if it's fire, I take that concept while I'm freestyling. And then start writing off of that. Gotcha. But most right. of the time... I'm writing, and then I'm going to the stool. But while I'm in the stool, I might also, oh, yeah, boom, we got another hour. Fuck it. Yeah. Gonna, let's let's do another track. Like, Now, are you currently in the studio working on anything? Yeah, I'm in the studio. I'm in the studio. I'm I'm, I'm going to be in there a little bit more. I got, um, I'm about to drop a song right now, Future and Playboy the Cooker winning. That's dropping this week. Yeah, that should go crazy. Then I'm going to drop another song, but. Um, right now, I'm thinking about shooting a video, straight visuals. I was just about to say, give them, visuals give them, coming. Give, yeah, give them the visuals, a trio Facts. real quick, full effect. Actual full effect, though. You also was part of the, uh, well, you and a few people were Asian Doll. How you? Hell yeah. How you? Asian Doll. Freak yeah. party. How you? That was a movie. Shout Facts. out to Damu Up. Facts. Facts are going to be up here. Another person. This Hell season yeah. is going to be stacked. My guy. Starting it off with my guy. Mm -hmm. All right, so anything you anything like you want to let your fans know, we should know. Anything was dropping. Um, right, everything. Now, right now, you can look me up on all platforms. Who that Trinio, W-H-O-D-A-T-T-R-E-N-T-I-O-O -O, on all platforms. I'm dropping winning. 
this weekend with Playboy the Cooker. It's going hard on all platforms. Make sure you yeah, run it up. And for up. all my fans and supporters, we're going to keep keeping our foot on their yeah. ah, We're going to keep our foot on their neck, man. That's we ain't giving fight. up. Big right. TFE shit. Big right. TFE shit. All right. Don't go nowhere because we got music. Hell yeah. I've been getting on me about where's the performances, where the performances. The performances is back, back season man. three, people. That's you heard? Right. All right, like we told y'all, the shit wasn't over yet. All right, my boy, introduce the next two songs you about to perform for us. I'm about, first, I'm going to perform Talk Facts, my number one streaming song. You can find that out on all platforms. Talk Facts, who that Trinio, W-H-O-D-A-T-T-T-R-E-N-T-I-O-O. Then I'm going to perform a new unreleased song that's dropping this week, featuring my man Play the Cooker. To, uh, winning, you know we winning. You know that Play shit about facts. to go hard. So y'all going to hear some unreleased shit that's dropping this week. Come on, come on. Stop playing, man. It's Trinity with a fucking stepper. He outside. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to lie shit, man. Better get back to your niggas, real nigga, but I flip the switches. Bullets flying, having niggas dipping like all I speak is facts. 40 aiming at his fitted. Niggas be talking comedy, they be kidding. I just don't understand it like, look. And all of my niggas, we suited up. My squad tough and we grooved up. You talk stupid, get grooved up. Like what niggas gonna do to us? Niggas be talking with they no shit. You can catch me with a couple of bits. We paving the block, we fuck up the strip. We making it high, you gon' get clipped like. You checking my bop, I'm doing my dance. Pants sagging, I'm full of the bands. Rockin' his onyx, for the friends. One of my niggas get locked, he couldn't Free all the guys that stuck in the can. We all gon' ride in, that's the plan. Act up, you get popped now. Last time got shot down. His crew still ain't touched down. He got put like SmackDown. I really be running this shit. 520s, I'm talking about clips with a bad bitch. She holding a grip. At the town bumping it, feeling my shit. I'm dropping hit at the hip. I'm hot now. I got the boom, you pop now. You act up, you get shot down. All of my niggas grimy, we so slimy, we some hitters. Come to the block and see how we live and we eat and we bend them grimness. Once I touch a pack, I gotta flip it. I'm mad for this chicken. Once I touch a pack, I gotta flip it. I'm mad for this chicken. Now I'm about to play. Winning by Who That Trinio featuring Play The Cooker, man. Stop playing, man. We outside. It's dropping this week on all platforms. Run that shit up. Shout out, I'm a call. Shout out, I'm a call. It's Trini the fucking stepper and play the fucking cooker. Y'all already know what we about to do. We about to Ah! It's time to go get it. Me and my niggas, we winning. We got one inject the best to chase his chicken. Niggas be broke, they be hating, don't get it. It's TFP and we bitch them nigga It's time to go get it, me and my niggas we winning We got one ejected, that's the chase is chicken Niggas we broke, they be hating, don't get it It's TFP and we bitch them nigga Niggas be talking, we chasing it We ain't worried about that basic shit It's get to the bag, it's fuck a bitch Cause we went from rags to riches I'm high as a blimp right now I see the clouds in this lit right now You act up, you get pulled right down Me and mines don't play around like Gang shit, gang shit Me and my niggas be sanctioned We turned up back in gnarly This Henny got bitches going retarded Shake that ass, don't stop We don't twirl, that get dropped 40 you on me, that's a clock Big boy, Lord nigga Tryna count a couple figures Add it to the back, two witches We fuck up the function We don't Steppers, got in the party with my weapon, calling my Uda, that stay special, all of my niggas is tacked, fully equipped with double match, we ain't playing, we ain't having that, niggas be talking that shit, be cap, no time for the doubling back, we on the mission to chase his chicken, niggas be hating, I just don't get it, all of my niggas some gunners, I love making thrillers, I get the hit, they don't get it, comfortable, I can walk around with slippers, drip down, got the hit now, host wise on the playground, host wise roof, this little nigga with the blueprint, gang, 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 it's time to go get it, me and my niggas be winning, we got one ejective, that's the chase's chicken Niggas be broke, they be hand, don't get it It's TFP, and we bitch them, nigga It's time to go get it, me and my niggas, we winning We got one ejective, that's the chase's chicken Niggas be broke, they be hand, don't get it It's TFP, and we bitch them, nigga 
New nigga on the op list. New drip, no one got this. Switch all your goods, you still ain't shot shit. We making movies, nigga, watch this. Bring him up, be a hostage. Shoot for the stars, I will not miss. I be with demons, y'all are not this. Fight for your life with the hospice. I mix your bass with the grabber. Beatbox, had a nigga dance like Cha Cha. Chasing my lady like Gaga, he's singing like Boogie. Nah, 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 nah. He's holding, but he ain't shooting. I ain't pulling nothing, I ain't shooting. I'm way too close to the edge and push me, nigga, and I might just do it. Talk to me nicely, smoking my midge, go stand like Ivy. Like Lil Robbie, damn it with your life, man, that shit pricey. Stamp just like posters, these niggas sweet like hostess. Running the game, no one coaching, protected by vibing on the posters. Behind this half, I ain't talking dodges. All black people from there on robbing. I'm so loud, they know we the problem, then they know they never could solve it. Bob, they used to be mobbing. You know if you're going, I'm a goblin. Next rapper, we with the vibes, falling in the spaceship, Marvin and Marshall. No demons up in this country, don't forgive me, the streets turn me heartless. It's time to go get it, me and my niggas we winning We got one eject the best to chase his chicken Niggas be broke, they be hating, don't get it It's TFP and we been stamp nigga It's time to go get it, me and my niggas we winning We got one eject the best to chase his chicken Niggas be broke, they be hating, don't get it It's TFP and we been stamp nigga No the vibes, man. No the vibes. They can find the music at. You can find me at Who That Trini on all platforms. W H O D A T T T R E N T I O O, and also on Instagram. W H O D A T T R E N T I O O on all platforms. Stop playing, man. I want to thank my boy Trinio for pulling up. Man, you know the vibes, man. Also got Playboy in the building. Yeah, Make sure y'all follow him on everything. IG, Apple Music, all of that good shit. Yeah, we everywhere. It has been another lit episode of the Culture Crew, you guys. Hey. Facts.